Geo Snow right here. So in today's video we have kind of a recap video in which I'm going to clarify everything about the iOS 9.3.5, iOS 9.3.4, 10.x jailbreak and about the downgrades. So let's move on. I'm going to start with the fact that I'm going to present you uh, something that you already know, but I'm going to put them in a single video so that everybody can see the information he is interested into in a single video without browsing through a lot of videos. Because there's been a lot of commotion uh, lately, a lot of releases for different type of things. So let's see which is which. So um, if you're interested in jailbreaking the iOS 10, being it on 10.2 or 10.1.1 or 10.0.2 on a 64-bit device, then you should go ahead on yalu.qwertyuriup.com. And I made a video in here on how to jailbreak any iPhone, iPad or iPod, uh, except iPhone 7. There is no jailbreak for iPhone 7 for the moment. Well, it is, but for 10.1.1 and it's not including the mobile substrate. Uh, and this is the tutorial you should follow in if you want to uh, jailbreak your 64-bit device running 10.2 or 10.1.1 or 10.0. So what to do if you are interested in the iOS uh, 9.3.5 jailbreak? For the moment there is no release of the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak, but it's, there is already a project that is still being updated for a 9.3.5 jailbreak. We discussed about this on the channel somewhere. Uh, lately and I told you that the project might or might not be real, we do not know about it, but this is present on GitHub and it seems to be uh, an attempt of open sourcing it. So this means we should wait a little bit more. Now the project page says that this will be a 32-bit only iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak. So for those of you who are on iOS 9.3.5 now, do not update. Uh, and. Um, you should know there is no jailbreak, so if you search on Google or if you search across my videos for iOS 10 jailbreak, do not ask me about iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak for the moment, because there is no jailbreak for you. But there is a project, this one right here, uh, you have the uh, link for the GitHub uh, in the description down below, so you can monitor the uh, project when it gets updated. You can see in here you have when it gets updated, and for the moment the project doesn't include the exploit, but it's bound to support uh, iPhone 4S, 5, 5C, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPod Touch, 5th generation, iPad 4, iPad mini when it is finished. And he uh, posted an IPA, but it's just the UI for the moment. We do not know about this guy. You have a video on my channel about this um, this jailbreak in which I talked more in detail. But for iOS 9.3.5, this is the status for the moment. Because as I said in this video, I'm going to discuss about statuses, where we are for the moment. So um, for 9.3.5, I'm afraid if you want a jailbreak right now, you can't. But if you wait a little bit more, probably there will be something out of this thing. And also Apple Fry team is working on the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak. And I don't know if this guy and Apple Fry team are related, or they're working together, but I know there are two, at least two teams working on it for the moment. So wait a little bit more. If you're on iOS 9.2 to iOS 9.3.4 on a 32-bit, you are more lucky. There is the Home Depot. We already made a video about this, but I just wanted to mention it in this video because as I said, being a status video, those of you who are on 9.3.5 get their information, get your information from here as well. So uh, this is a full-fledged jailbreak right now. It works and it supports the following devices listed on the screen right now, and it does include Cydia. So it's a full jailbreak, finished and working properly, but only from iOS 9.2 to 9.3.4. So uh, iOS 9.3.5 is not supported by Home Depot. Uh, jailbreak and probably will never be because this one is based on the Trident exploit. In the description you have the video about this thing and how to use this thing and um, in that video of course I uh, talked about this more in depth and how you can add offsets for your own device and so on. Uh, we discussed about how it works and what's the exploit behind it more in depth. So if you want, if you're interested in the iOS 9.3.4 or uh, lower jailbreak, then you should click on the link for that video and I'm going to discuss in that video about Home Depot and uh, of course everything related to it. So this is basically the status of the jailbreak for the moment. iOS 10.2 has a jailbreak and it's the Yalu jailbreak of course in here and it's fully working 
but it doesn't support iPhone 7 for now. And if you're on iOS 10.1, you can jailbreak your iPhone 7, but you will not have mobile substrate. You have to activate that manually from various commands, and it's a little bit fiddly. Now let's talk about downgrades. Uh, I made a lot of videos lately, and uh, of course we talked about downgrades. It if you want to see a specific video, I recommend you to see this one because it's very important we discuss about the fact that on iOS 10.3 you can now downgrade to 10.2 and jailbreak using the nonce collisions method. We thought it's patched in iOS 10.2.1 and iOS 10.3, of course, but apparently it is not and Team Start, the creator of Future Restore, for downgrade, confirm the fact that iOS 10.3 beta 1 can render collisions and you can uh, try that and if you're lucky you're going to downgrade to 10.2 and be able to jailbreak if you're for example on 10.2.1 or 10.3. So it's pretty cool, watch that video, it's in the description down below. And of course Future Restore is for the moment, at this point in time, is the only method of uh, downgrading an iOS 10.x jailbroken or not device to any of the um, versions for which you save the blobs. If you if you want to know more about this, I already have on my playlist here a playlist called um, iOS Software Downgrade, or iOS Downgrade, simply, and you have a lot of Prometheus uh, or Future Restore tutorials in there. Now, what I wanted to also talk to you is about iOS 10.3 jailbreak. Well, uh, in my previous video, we discussed about the um, iOS 10.3 beta jailbreak being achieved or not. Now, um, on Twitter, a guy named, well, nicknamed iJapija, demoed a jailbreak for iOS 10.3 beta. We do not know anything, whether it's fake or not. It looks pretty real, but we know that guy uh, faked some things in the in the past, and he's not in very good relationships with developers. So, um, including here Sorik, the developer of Cydia. So it's a little bit skeptical. I'm a, I'm a little bit skeptical about that jailbreak, and you should probably be too. But anyways, if you want to know about that thing, and if you want to evaluate it yourself, I'm going to link this video in the description down below. So. Um, this is pretty much what you need to know about the jailbreak for the moment. This is the status of the jailbreak, this is what can be jailbroken and what can't, and this is the status of the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak and the downgrades. So um, if you updated, unfortunately, to iOS 10.2.1 by mistake, or if you didn't downgrade in time, or if you are on iOS 10.3, you're of course not jailbroken. But if your device is supported by the jailbreak, Remember, uh, Yalu jailbreak is not supporting 32-bit devices like iPhone 5 and 5C. Then you should uh, go to 10.3, you have nothing to lose anyways. Uh, beta 1 and go ahead and try the nonce collisions method. I have a lot of videos about that in here. TeamStar also has a lot of videos, which is uh, TeamStar is the author of the Future Restore tool. And using the Future Restore, you might be able to go back to 10.2, but try to do it now until Apple uh, is not patching that thing. So um, this is pretty much it guys, that's where we are for the moment, those are the firmwares that can be jailbroken and how, and those are the firmwares that uh, have a jailbreak in work but it's not fully released yet or not finished. I really hope I cleared up everything, I felt the um, a necessity to create this video because I wanted to make sure everybody understands where we are at this point, what's going on and what you should use for which firmware version. If you appreciate this video and if it made things clear to you, give this video a thumb up, subscribe to stay updated and I'm going to have more news as they unfold for you on the jailbreaking and downgrades. I'm Joe Snow, until the next time, peace out.